has lost 16 straight road games in ACC play. That dates back to two years. Xavier Johnson joined in the backcourt by his fellow freshman, Trey McGowan's. And they have the ball first in their road blue uniforms. And Johnson, right off the bat, gets the first two of the night. He was the number one pick in the NBA draft following that season. That shot off the mark, and Ellison has the rebound. Here's Wilson Frame, and that is his specialty. Jared Wilson Frame has four or more three-pointers in four of the last five games. Oh, a great find and transition over the top of Pitt defense. Well, there is no question about the elite athleticism of Jalen Horde for sure. Another triple for Jared Wilson Frame. That's already three tonight. That makes three or more three-point field goals for Wilson Frame in five of his last six contests. By Kenneth Smart. No good. Offensive rebound Wake, And it's picked off by Wilson Frame. Here's a freshman on Spony. Puts it in spin cycle. Beautiful. Okay, 4.2 left. Now four dribbles. Xavier Johnson could do it with the best of them, and he got it! Xavier Johnson beat the buzzer at the end of the first half. A little bit, I thought this was a terrific part of their game plan in the first half. Extend, make pick, go into their second and third options offensively. You can't let Xavier, Xavier Johnson get going like that. Downhill, good find in transition. In their latest loss to Clemson, they've already eclipsed that with 38 tonight. Good defense by the Panthers. Endier for three. That's a big shot for the Pitt Panthers and City Endier. Has the opportunity to take this one over. He's got his first triple tonight, and he's in double digits with 10. He's and it's stolen play. away by Johnson. Three on one. To his fellow freshman, McGowan's. And that's Trey McGowan's first field goal tonight. He has three and pits back on top by a deuce. And you got to meet the pass. Lucius, head and shoulder fake, comes up empty. Now here's Johnson. Too easy for Xavier Johnson. So good. 14 points on the night for the freshman. A ticket and just selling. like that, hits within oh. three. The lead is four for the Demon Deacons. That's a clutch three in front of his own bench for City Endier. That is a terrific snake behind the step-up screen and a terrific find and then a defensive play by Johnson. Johnson, he hangs, can't hit, but Xavier Johnson will go to the line and shoot two. Got to drive it. A chance to tie or win it. Childress can't get it done. Loose ball, Brown. No! The ball rolls off the rim. Five seconds to go. It's out of bounds, and it's going to stay Wake Forest basketball wow. with 4.8 left. <laughs> Toughest play to inbound, place to inbound. A direct pass to the block if you can get it. Dangerous pass. Brown for the win. No, but this... Jalen Horn tie it with three tenths of a second left. They're going to go to the scorer's table to check, but it looks like Jalen Horn tied this game. See, Alternate channel until this overtime is concluded. Here's Jared Wilson frame. Four threes and now five threes for Jared Wilson frame. He has 17 tonight. City Endears had a great second half, but he had his pocket picked. Saved by Ellison look in midcourt. I mean, look at the hustle by Jalen Horde. Rich, 6'8 guy on the floor. High off the glass goes Xavier Johnson. He can make every shot. Brown. Wow! <laughs> dozens and dozens of coaches, and it's nearly a 50 50 split as to what you do in that situation. But here's Childress. And he's going to dribble out the clock. And Wake Forest snaps a five-game losing streak with a huge overtime win.